hate to go into i've got a new project and then me breaking down how i made this animation of like a supermarket conveyor belt loop kind of thing so i reckon we can just get started i'm gonna take apart everything that went into the scene like a crazy person because that that is what um that is what i am so i'm gonna start a new project let me just make my face small for one second perfect i'm gonna start a new project and only delete the light we're gonna keep our beautiful default cube this time um scale it horizontally and make it kind of like a cuboid but you know this kind of vibe so we're gonna start splicing up this cuboid to make our conveyor belt hit tab to go into edit mode and then control r to start adding some loop cuts on our shape so we're going to put one here we're going to add loads so just have a look at what i'm doing i'm also going to quickly go into this cog uh this spanner and add subdivision surface now you'll notice we've got a blob and we really don't want that so hit the viewport thingy I have to turn it off for a second and i'll show you why um, we need to add a ton of loop cuts here right now we've got we're trying to um, add as much geometry to keep our sharp edges but smooth them out when we apply this so you can see we're getting a bit of a shape now keep toggling it on and off so you see what's going on now loop cuts basically cut your geometry all the way around if you've got good topology they work perfectly if you don't it's a bit peak um, so i'm going to add another one over here in face selection mode, we're going to select this face and then this tiny one down here with shift and bring these down like this. Now if I turn on my subdiv, it's, it looks a bit like a trough, like a bath and that's not what we want. So we're going to have to add a couple loop cuts on these edges to not get it as smooth. So I reckon it needs one more right here, just to sharpen that up. Yes, perfect. So that's exactly what we're going for. We've got a nice um, dip, a little trough to put our conveyor belt in nice and smooth. So the unit's looking calm. I'm gonna apply this modifier. Done, don't have to worry about it anymore. So we're gonna add a bezier curve. Bring it down a bit, bring it down, bring it down. Hit tab and holding the control, we can snap these to the grid. Selecting this vertex, hit E and bring it down and to the side. And then with control, you can snap these. So basically gonna make a loop. When you get to the last one, select, shift select both of them and press F that will close your curve. It's looking a bit dead right now. We're gonna start um, fixing these handles properly. All right, that's looking cool. So out of object mode, RX90. That's perfect. I'm gonna put that in the middle there. Don't worry if it intersects with the geometry down there. Um, that's not a problem. I'm gonna make our tiles for the loop now. So shift A, mesh, cube, and make this bad boy a little bit shorter. Yes. Then hit tab and control R, scroll up with your mouse wheel and add a few subdivisions. Get out of edit mode by tab, bring it over our curve here. Just make sure it's as wide as our unit so we're going to add an array modifier um bring this down to zero if yours is looking funky you need to um change the the offset so if it was looking like that make sure that's on zero but you might have different orientation in your scene and bring the count up uh, add another modifier curve and select your bezier curve so now you can see it's all going round so you can have gaps in your conveyor belt but I want it to be smooth like a supermarket so I'm going to bring the offset down until it's looking smooth and bring the number of units up until the hole is closed 
and that's looking cool i'm gonna scale it up a bit and move the curve along a bit as well now i've got a tiny gap so we're just gonna go back into this array and add one more tile all right so we have our curve don't worry if the shape is weird underneath we're not going to be seeing down there cool now if it's still looking a little bit jagged if you hit your curve and go to curve properties and bring the resolution up that will smooth out the conveyor belt even more so we're going to add motion and to do that we're going to open the graph editor here and um, selecting our conveyor belt if this window is not open just press n and insert a single keyframe for this x location now in your graph editor bring this down hit x location hit n while hovering in here go to modifiers down here and we're going to add a generator uh it's looking a little bit weird so if yours is like mine and it's starting to do this weird direction it means um everything in your scene needs to be turned uh 90 degrees because you're on the wrong axis another way you can do fix this is by changing the direction deleting your x so insert in a keyframe for y and adding a generator on this direction it's moving pretty quickly though so you can basically change um change this speed i'm gonna put 0 0.03 and you can see the curve has changed now. So if I play it, it's still going pretty fast. Let's see how that is. Okay, that's way too slow. Do you know what? We're gonna go with 0.03. Just to test the speed, we can quickly add a um, cube. Scale it down a bit. And if we add a physics property here, rigid body and just like leave as one kilo if we go back to the start and drop it oh, it's going in the wrong direction if it's going in the wrong direction for you you're going to want to do minus 0 0.03 and there we go that's perfect i think that's it so we've animated um, our conveyor belt and a simple cube you can go ahead and close this window very carefully now let's start working on the rest of our scene. I'm gonna whiz through the next bits of modeling because they're pretty simple shapes. Lip cutting and, and subdivision surface mods, easy stuff. Any noteworthy bits and pieces, I'll mention explicitly, otherwise don't worry about it. Mm -mm. I'm listening to some music. What should we listen to? <laughs> I guess you just saw that I added some two little um, cubes that are really, really thin to create the rail where the dividers go. I'm just going to add another plane, um, scale it over here. I'm just going to get the back to catch any reflections. Right, we're going to make the grates now. So shift A, mesh, what is it, cylinder. Down here before you like click anywhere else i'm going to change that to um like five yeah that's chill the modifier array modifier small offset and look Okay, so that is the grates. I'm gonna keep that there for a second. It's all gonna come together. I just, I'm a really messy modeler. <laughs> so the last kind of thing that we need, we need the, the plastic things that sit, put the tickets for what items you're gonna buy. So we're gonna add a plane. We all want everything to kind of be the same length. Yay, why? Go down here, control C, control V, and bring up another one. And hit tab. Oh, no. Just want to tab on this one. Hit this face. 
and on the side we're going to extrude it up a teeny 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 bit now we've got a cube here shift r add a loop cut here loop cut here add a loop cut uh, here cool select this face this face and this oh, this face and bring them down but like almost to the bottom if i add a subdivision surface to this add some more loop cuts i'm gonna add one here and ah not there and one here so if I, ah, oh, perfect. These are gonna go really close together. All right, so going to import, what was it? I think it was an FBX. And when you import a 3D model, you need to know what format it's in before you import it. So in my animation, I used water bottles, but obviously anything can go on that conveyor belt, you get me? Um, so I think this was an FBX, I'm gonna lie. Um, don't watch my messy folders, please. But yeah, import that. And there she is, look how cute. Oh, she's so cute. We've now got all the elements in our scene. I'm just gonna put things together a little bit um, better. The last thing I need to make is the divider. So shift A, mesh, I'm gonna add a cylinder and change this vertex to three. R, X, 90, R, Z, 90, cool. <sighs> Scale it, you know the drill. And just checking if it fits in the little uh, grate I made, yeah. that is our divider done then i mean you can model these a lot better it's just literally up to you um and apply that apply that so this is what we're left with this is the end of part one i hope you managed to follow along the next video is going to be on textures materials um and uv maps so i hope to see you there um yeah thank you for watching bye